For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the College 25 cheese. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys my favorite, most underrated, and overlooked teams that are going to be some of the better teams to use in the College Football 25 game that's coming out in just a couple of weeks. Uh, I already put out a full video of my top 11 most overpowered teams. If you guys want to check that out, I have a list of what I think are going to be the 11 best teams to use in the game. Today, I'm going to go a little bit more under the radar and try to point out some of the teams that I think are going to be more than unique and better teams to use but bear in mind there's 134 college football teams that are in this game so i'm going to try to keep this list kind of short if you guys think that your favorite team or you think of a team that should have been on this list please let everybody know in the comment section but before i get into the video as always if you guys want to see more videos like this please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that's going to get right into the video now i'm going to start off with a team that is probably overhyped but I still think they're going to be one of the better teams to use, and I wanted to include them on this list, and that's the Colorado Buffalo. Everybody knows about them based off the fact that Deion Sanders is their coach, even though he's not going to be in the game. Shador Sanders, his son, is one of the best quarterbacks in the nation, and they also have maybe the best player in the entire game, one of the highest rated in Travis Hunter on both offense and defense at wide receiver and cornerback. But they also have a lot of speed, and speed kills in games like this. But they also have a really good receiving core around the quarterback now with a lot of transfers coming in. Guys like LeJonte Wester, who also is one of the fastest receivers in college football. And I would say the majority of their talent is on offense around the quarterback as far as weapons are concerned with guys like Jimmy Horn Jr., Will Shepard. They have a pretty decent tight end in Shimon Matier, uh, giving them just a really good offensive skill set. But defense is kind of lacking as they really only have a couple of decent uh, defensive linemen. Probably the best one being B.J. Green, who is supposed to be a top 100 player at defensive tackle. Next up, I got Utah, because they're once again led by one of the most highly projected quarterbacks in the game, and that's Cam Rising. And he also has a lot of talent around him, with Brant Kuth going to be one of the better tight ends in the game. Uh, they have two tight ends, actually, with him and Landon King as well. And they also have a good receiver in Dorian Singer, and a pretty good running back in Mika Bernard. Uh, but the defense is probably not going to be, once again, it's going to be kind of lackluster. They have a couple of good defensive tackles, a couple of good cornerbacks uh, but for the most part it's mostly going to be an offensive team or another team that's carried by the offense next up i have another team that'll probably be carried by the offense and that's boise state but i don't expect it to be the quarterback as much as the running back ashton giante who's going to probably be one of the highest rated running backs in the game uh, they do have a former five-star recruit at quarterback who transferred in in malache nelson so he should be uh, solid or at least a decent quarterback or maybe if you're playing in dynasty mode maybe you can build him up but you definitely have the talent there they don't necessarily have the talent around him like some of the former teams that I mentioned though they have a couple of uh, receivers who really haven't done a lot but they still they still expect this team to have a better receiving core than the previous year maybe a better passing game uh, the defense once again then again though not really that great they do have one of the uh, maybe one of the better linebackers in Andrew Simpson who should give you something uh, and a pretty good defensive end in Ahmad Hassian next up we got Kansas and this is another team that's gonna be led by a dominant running back in Devin Neal but they also have one of the better quarterbacks one of the projected quarterbacks in the game in Jalen Daniels. So that's why they're a little bit higher on this list because they actually have a quarterback and a running back giving you a little bit more ability to play your offense however you want. They have a couple of decent receivers and guys like Lawrence Arnold and Quentin Skinner. And the strength of their defense is probably their secondary, which is something that, you know, if I pick a team, typically I want them to have good cornerbacks. And they have that in Kobe Bryant on one side and Melo Dotson on the other side, making this team just a little bit more capable of playing multiple styles of football. Next up, we have a team that you might see me using a lot and that's the Arizona Wildcats basically because Tedaroa McMillan looks like one of my favorite players in the entire game he's a six foot five monster who catches just about every single thing thrown his way he has a pretty good quarterback too which is obviously important you can't get it done by yourself but Noah Fafita is going to be one of the better quarterbacks or one of the more highly rated quarterbacks in the game if I had to guess after that though they don't really have a ton on offense but they do have a lot on defense and since I like to play defense first I'm a defensive player that's one of the reasons that I'm going to like using this team with linebackers like Jacob Manu and I actually have a couple of decent linebackers with him and uh, Justin Flo. They have some good defensive linemen and Trey Smith and Bill Norton. And they also have a pretty solid secondary foundation with guys like Dalton Johnson, Gunnar Maldonado, and Tesario Davis at cornerback, who's probably going to be one of the better cornerbacks in the entire country. Next up, we have another team that's led by its stud running back, and that's Oklahoma State with Ollie Gordon, who might be one of the highest rated players in the entire game. He's going to be an absolute cheat code, and his offensive line is going to be loaded because every single starter he had from last year's returning, led by Preston Wilson, might be one of the higher rated guards in the game. 
team. They also have a pretty decent quarterback in Allen Bowman, uh, and they have some pretty decent receivers around him, led by Brennan Presley, uh, who should be one of the more, you know, he came nine yards short of 1,000 yards his last season, so I would imagine he's going to go over that this year and be a very highly rated player. They also have some pretty standout players on defense with linebackers like Colin Oliver and uh, another linebacker, Nicholas Martin. And their secondary is pretty solid, too, with guys like Cameron Epps and Trey Rucker at safety and a pretty good defensive back slash cornerback in Kendall Daniels. So the defense is definitely going to be strong on the back seven. Next up, we have the LSU Tigers. And to make this list, if you haven't figured it out by now, you really need an elite player that's going to be like a game-changing player. That's pretty much the idea. Not necessarily the best team overall, but you have an elite talent player that's going to make this team uh, fun to play with. And Harold Perkins Jr. is that guy on LSU, as he's going to be one of the uh, best linebackers in the entire game. Uh, they also have Will Campbell, though, on offense, who's probably going to be the highest-rated tackle in the entire game. Uh, on one side, on the other side, they have Emory Jones, who's also a very good tackle. So the offensive line is going to be pretty much set at the most important position when it comes to protecting the quarterback, uh, and that's tackles on each side of the ball. So you should have plenty of time to pass with their quarterback and Garrett, and Garrett Neusmeyer, who's definitely going to be a solid uh, quarterback option to play with. Uh, but this team, for the most part, I mean, they have some pretty good receivers around him, guys like Aaron Anderson at one receiver, Kyron Lacey, uh, and they also have C.J. Daniels, who is going to be, he comes in from Liberty. He's definitely going to give them a good three wide receiver set to throw to. And the strength of this defense is probably their edge defenders with guys like Paris Shand and Deshaun Womack, giving this team an elite pass rush. And then last but not least, we have another team in the Tennessee Volunteers led by an elite pass rusher in Edge James Pierce Jr., who I think a lot of people think could be like the number one pick in the upcoming year's draft. So he should have a very high overall rating when it comes to this game. That was a pretty good defensive lineman around him, but for the most part, this is probably going to be more of an offensive team as they do have a really good quarterback returning in Nico I am Malave, and they also have probably what might be the fastest receiver in the entire game in Squirrel White. They do have some pretty good running backs as well, led by Dylan Sampson, and their offensive line has a ton of really good blockers in Javante Spragans and Cooper Mays, making this an offensive heavy team that'll have an elite defensive player that can wreck games. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys think I missed any team, please let me know in the comment section. If you want to see the top 11 teams list that I made, I'll have that popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.